So one time I had someone tell me, why don't you ever kiss me when you have makeup on? And my response always is, why would I waste a $30 lipstick for something as stupid as kissing? Okay, we just need to get one thing clear. If anyone ever took me out on a Valentine's date, this is how I would show up. In my Ninja T Turtles t-shirt and dark green lipstick and be like, well, are you expecting someone else? So this is my number one Valentine's Day pick. This is Bite Beauty Kale Lipstick. It is the bomb.com. Girls, don't listen to the rest of my video. Show up how you want to show up. Wear whatever lipstick you want to wear and make out with whoever you want to make out with. Peace out. But seriously, I am the type of person, once my makeup's done, don't come near my face. Don't touch my face. Don't touch my hair. Don't smudge my lipstick. Don't make me cry and waste $30 mascara. So that's just me. And if you're as bougie as me, then this video is for you. So today's video, I'm going to show you my top 10 lipsticks for kissing. So my top 10 lipsticks for kissing your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your friend, your mom, your grandma. Maybe you have some weird coworker who always like kisses you on the lips. That's not appropriate. Um, if you are like me and you want to kiss someone but you still want to make wear makeup and look pretty and wear lipstick because I pretty much feel naked without lipstick, then this video is for you. So yeah, this video is also perfect for Valentine's Day. So if you're going on like date or date night or even if you're forever alone and sitting at home watching Netflix and eating chocolate covered almonds by yourself, that's totally fine because guess what? These lipsticks won't budge on your chocolate covered almonds. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get right into this video. Okay, let's just get right into my top 10 lipstick picks for Valentine's Day kissing makeout sessions. So the first one is what I'm wearing on my lips and this is um, the NARS Velvet Lip Glide and this is in the shade Bound. So again, we have a neutral tone. So this is like a purpley mauve color. So this is like, this is a liquid lipstick but it's not a matte lipstick so it's still pretty sheer but it gives you that color it's very hydrating but it does kind of dry down so if you're wearing it for a little while the kind of glossiness does go away and it kind of sets into your lips so then what happens is if you go to kiss somebody one there's not much color but two you're kind of just left with this like stain and it won't like really transfer that much um It'll kind of just like come off in the first kiss and then like whatever else happens. This video is going to be so weird, me trying to explain kisses. Oh my god. So that's it right there. It's just like a purple mauve color. And this one also has a really nice scent. It kind of smells like vanilla. So scents are always good. They taste really good. So this is NARS Velvet Lip Glide in Bound. Okay, next is this one. And this is a little bit more expensive. But this is the YSL. <coughs> Choking to death. This is the YSL Volupte Day Sheer Candy. So they come in the silver packaging, not the gold packaging. And these ones, they taste like candy. Like this smells and tastes like watermelon. So like, I'm gonna let you know what all these smell like so you'll know what they're gonna taste like if you know what I mean. Um, but these ones are really, really awesome. They're so hydrating and silky. They make your lips look plump and kissable and juicy. Um, but yeah, this is just a nice berry color. It kind of give, gives you that like, bitten like just kissed look um so that your your lips will just look plump and juicy and then this will just taste like candy it will wear off immediately once you start kissing and that's kind of it um oh it tastes like watermelon it's so good and this yeah just like a nice berry color so that's it right there very very sheer very hydrating very moisturizing and like glossy which is awesome Okay, next we have MAC Hug Me, and this is a luster formula. So any luster formula from MAC will be awesome because they're very, very sheer. They're the sheerest of the formulas that they have. And this is, if you know me, my favorite nude ever. It is sheer. It Again, it's like the YSL one. It makes your lips look hydrated and moist and juicy and like it has a bit of like not glitter but it has like a shine to it a little sparkle to it it's a very neutral color yeah but again look it packs enough of a punch like there is enough of pigment on there for you to definitely see it on your lips it's not just like a tinted lip balm but this one is definitely a winner in my books 
So that was MAC Hug Me. Okay, I just wanted to get a little closer so you could see my lips a little bit better. So the next one, this is a tinted lip balm. Again, those are always a great option because you have that tint, that stain, but it's super moisturizing and like barely even there. So my favorites are the Fresh Sugar Lip Balms. They have tons of different colors. Um, this one's just really awesome for the winter. It's called Plum, and it's just, just like nice like hint of a berry shade. Um, these are so hydrating, like your lips will be like ready to be kissed. They're moisturizing, they're smoothing, they give you a touch of color. Like look at it right there, it's, it's barely, barely there. So if you're someone and you're like, I don't want to make any kind of mess on anyone's lips, and this is the one for you because very sheer but has a beautiful like berry tone to it. So yeah, fresh sugar plum. Sugar plum. The only lip gloss I have in this entire thing is the NYX Butter Glosses. Any of these more neutral shades will work. They have crazy like dark purple shades. I wouldn't recommend those ones for this. But this was in, in the shade Praline. I also like Creme Brulee or Eclair. This is just kind of like a brownie nude. Um, these taste like buttercream, like cake. So they're amazing. They taste so good. But they're very smooth. It's still a bit messy. I still... Out of all the ones I've shown you, this one's still probably messy because, like, I don't know, glossies, glosses, glosses are just a little bit too tacky, right? And they're just too sticky. But these are very, very smooth. If you just put on, like, a tiny little bit, they're not tacky. They're just, like, a little bit glossy, a little bit neutral, and they do taste like party, like, birthday party cake. So there's that. It looks really nice and natural, and they taste really good. They remind, like... Oh my god, remember this, what are they called, like the smuckers, right? Like the, no, that's not what they were called. Lip smackers, oh my god, like when I was in like grade 7 and it's like, ugh, get the like Coca-Cola flavored one and then like kiss a boy. Oh my god, this video is too ridiculous. Okay, moving into the liquid lipstick category, um, I have a couple that will work for sure. Like these are my go-tos. You can kind of wear them all day, see where the night takes you. Um, they look great in the day, at night, on a date night. They're just very neutral and they will last so long. Um, and they're really, really good for kissing because they're so long lasting, especially this one. These are pretty much non-transferable. These are the Tartist Lip Paints by Tarte. And this is in the shade Bestie. It's one of my favorites. I've pretty much been wearing it every single day like to work because they last so long. These are pretty much transfer proof. Like these ones are so awesome. I don't have any other shades, but like from what I've like read online and stuff, these they claim to be transfer proof. This one probably will not even transfer and you probably will still have it on your lips after kissing. So I highly, highly recommend this one, especially the shade Bestie because it's just neutral. It looks like it's no nonsense, like guys not going to be like, oh my god, this liquid lipstick's going to get everywhere. Um, but yeah, you can eat, you can drink, you can kiss with these, so I absolutely love the Tardis lip paints. Oh my god, when have I ever like swatched so many nudes? So that is it at the top right there. And then when he asks you to send nudes, you just send him a picture of my arm. Yeah, it's just like a peachy nude, I love this shade. Okay, so this next one is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. You guys know this. This is what I put on my brother's wife when they got married. She wore this on her wedding day. And you obviously have to, like, kiss on your wedding day. Like, it says it. Like, you may now kiss the bride. And the lipstick was perfectly fine. I, I applied it, re I reapplied it to her, like, a couple times throughout the night. But this one is probably what I'm going to wear on my wedding day. If anyone can find me a man to marry. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Pasadena. The shade is beautiful. This is such a romantic shade. It's just like rosy pink color. This one will be perfect for Valentine's Day. It's just soft and romantic. But it is a liquid lipstick, but they don't dry down completely. You're not going to have like cracked lips. You're not going to get that like nasty line in your mouth that it's just not cute at all. This one, oh, it's just a dusty rose. It's so pretty. Why am I sucking at this swatching business right now? So that's it right there. It's so beautiful. I love it. It won't transfer. You can eat. You can go on a date. You can have all of the candy and the chocolate that you want, and this will stay on your lips for sure. Okay, my final liquid lipstick, and this is by the brand Sephora. It's by Sephora. And these are their cream lip stains, and this is my new favorite obsession, and it is the shade number 23. 
These are great. These are, again, one of my favorite lipsticks. These are my favorite three, uh, and the Kat Von D ones, but this is such a beautiful color. It's more of like a darker, like 90s nude. This one will probably transfer the most out of the last two that I just mentioned, but if you like don't really care, if you're like, I'm gonna wear lipstick, I don't care if it gets all over you, like this is me, like take me or leave me, then this one's great. Um, again, it's neutral enough and it does dry down enough. And it's so, so long lasting, but it will transfer, um, I think, more than the other ones. So it's kind of like up to you which one you want. But if you can't get a hold of the Ofra ones, um, the Sephora ones are amazing. Very similar in shade to the Ofra one. It's just like a bit less pink and a bit more like brownie nude. So if that's something you're into more than the pink one, then this is also another good option. Okay, the next two that I have are actually like oil infused stains. So these are for the girls that it's like, you don't really want any fuss, but it's kind of the perfect thing that it's like, upon first looking at you, it's like, ooh, she got some like pink lipstick on, but then like it will wear off like immediately and you do get left with like a little bit of a stain. So it's kind of just that like stained plump look that has like a touch of color, but there'll be like no mess, no fuss, like whatever. So it's just super, super easy. And one of my favorite lipsticks of all time is the YSL, what are these called? Volupte Tint and Oil, and this is in a number eight, and it's kind of this like purpley magenta color. Um, they taste like watermelon, but they're very, very oily. So it's just like, it's pretty much like an oil, and you apply it to your lips, and then the second that this oil like wears off, you are left with like a really bright stain. But see, look, it's like, it almost looks like nothing, as you can see, like, but then wait till I do the other one. This color will get darker in a minute. So yeah, the YSL tint in oil and number eight. Okay, and last but not least is another tint in oil. These are very popular right now. And this one is by Lancome and it's a little juicy. <laughs> it is a little, it, they're called the juicy shakers and they look like a little like cocktail shaker and you do shake it up and it's like tint in oil. You shake it up and it's got this super cute little like spongy applicator and you just do this and this is in the shade bohemian rhapsody not bohemian rhapsody bohemian raspberry um but yeah it is the same idea so it's just different i think these ones are cheaper um these they also come with really nice like nude shades as well so i just don't have those ones this one's obviously like a bright pink which is super fun i would totally wear these these taste like the lancome like they used to have a Lancome like juicy lip glosses that tasted like friggin' like amazing candy. So these taste like watermelon as well. They're so, I wanna like, eat, I eat them off my own lips, that's the problem. Not very long lasting, you really have to reapply, but they do have this super awesome stain that will last. So yeah, it's like, hey look, I got this cute pink lip, like come give me a little smooch, and then you do, and then it'll be gone, but you still might have a little bit of stain left over, which is always really, really cute. So these ones are so awesome for Valentine's Day, for kissing. I highly recommend them. They're so cute. You can like throw them in your little clutch. So so that was the YSL one you can't probably even see. Oh, see, this one is a lot more pigmented than the YSL one, as you can see. Um, the YSL one is more oily. This one is more of a bright stain. But like I said, there are neutral colors if you don't want to go like this bright necessarily on a date or anything like that. But I definitely do. So, ooh, ooh. There we go. So that was everything. I really hope you guys like this video. I know it's kind of silly and fun and people might get offended. I don't know. I like to wear makeup. I like to have fun with makeup. I don't care if a guy tells me I shouldn't wear makeup or they like people with less makeup. Like, boy bye so yeah if you still want to wear lipstick but you don't want it to be overwhelming and a mess everywhere then these are the ones for you you've never seen me wear more neutral lipstick so yes i love you guys thank you so much for watching send me any of your recommendations i'm always looking for lipsticks for kissing because i like to kiss and tell a lot no i'm just teasing you guys if you guys like this video click right here there'll be another video so you can keep binge watching all of my videos don't forget to subscribe click right here on my face to stay up to date on everything that i post i post once a week and that's about it come join the adams family that is my last name if you did not know that um yeah yeah, thank you guys so much. Have an amazing Valentine's Day, and I will see you next week. Bye.